Hi and welcome to episode number 590 with whatsforchild.com. Potato croquettes are an all-time favourite with their creamy inside and super crispy shell. Made in small quantities, they are actually quite a hassle to make, especially considering that they are an accompaniment. Today we're going to make these in bulk, allowing you to freeze the croquettes and use them as required without all the hassle. You'll need a sausage filler to do this. To start, place 2 kilograms of roughly mashed potato in your mixer bowl. Add 2 tablespoons salt, 1 teaspoon white pepper, 4 tablespoons dried onion flakes and 6 tablespoons all-purpose flour. Combine 4 egg yolks with 60 ml of full cream milk and pour this in. Place the bowl on your mixer with the dough hook attached and mix the mash until totally combined. This will take about 5 minutes. You can also mix it by hand if you don't have a mixer. Attach the funnel of your choice to your sausage stuffer. I'm using a 35mm funnel, but you can go with any diameter of your choice. Fill the hopper with the potato mixture, making sure to press it down after each addition to avoid air pockets in the mixture. Close the hopper and advance the plunger. For the next step you will need a school ruler or a length of reasonably rigid plastic. The potato mixture will be extruded along the plastic to make long cylinders of potato mix. Advance the mixture along the funnel until it reaches the end of the funnel. Hold the plastic under the funnel while advancing the potato, progressively moving the plastic at the same rate as the potato exits the funnel. As it nears the end of the ruler, slice the potato off clean. Roll the log of potato from the ruler into a large pan. Continue until all the potato has been extruded. At this diameter you will get about 2 meters of extruded potato. Cover the pans and transfer them to your freezer overnight. The following day you will need a bowl of all-purpose flour, whisked eggs and a bowl of finely crushed cornflakes or breadcrumbs. These quantities are all dependent on how much potato you processed. Take a little of the flour and sprinkle it over a large platter. This is where the coated croquettes will sit waiting to be fried and the flour will prevent the coating from sticking to the platter and getting damaged. Remove the potato logs from the freezer and use a strong knife to chop these into equal lengths.
Working with one portion at a time, dredge the croquette in the flour. Roll the potato in the egg to wet all of the flour. And then into the crumb to get a good solid coating all over. Transfer this to one of the platters and continue with the remaining croquettes. To fry the croquettes, half fill a wok with oil and heat this to 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. Carefully add the croquettes to the oil and fry them for 3 to 4 minutes. Give them a gentle stir every minute to ensure even browning. You can also par fry for 60 seconds to set the coating. Remove from the oil, cool and refreeze for super quick croquettes in the future. Use a slotted spoon to remove the crispy croquettes from the oil and drain any excess oil on kitchen paper. Serve the croquettes piping hot as an accompaniment to your main course. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe, like and share and we'll see you again tomorrow.